uh, Marty Jackson. I am uh, born and raised in Chicago, Illinois, and uh, lived in uh, with its family, family, one wife, and one daughter, and me. I was in the middle. My uh, father was uh, Will Wright, Mill Wright, and my, of course, my wife was a whitewater. White. Your buddy? Whitewater. Right way. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. <laughs> and the uh, norm, we was on Depression days. So we had to be trying try to make a buck for anyone because there wasn't any money. Yeah. So everyone, oh boy, didn't do anything to buy money to do stuff. Statement to help your your friends out. Difficult. Can't believe it. And then we had Chicago. Chicago was cold in the winter time, right? Really cold. So what did people have to things warm for? They'd have to put stuff to keep the water warm. And they take papers, papers, people's bags, bags and flags and stuff like that. And they wash them in water and then see them real hot. Hot and and let them get real hard, and then it's like like you're making uh, regular uh, something like more come to keep keep it hot. Not just water; you just can't throw a piece of paper paper. That you have to make it like anyway. <laughs> They made more, and that's people did it. Yeah, they use lot. that as firewood. Yeah, they didn't. How many people had firewood in Chicago? Yeah, right. But you don't do that in Chicago because you had to get coal, right? Or you got uh, paper, and you make almost like full car. Oh yeah. Wood, make it like, almost like wood, uh -huh. and you get that's how you keep people warm. Wow, how about that? Hard, yeah, hard to do. Yeah, and then oh boy, that was rough. I remember that people didn't have enough money and, or, or couldn't eat, things like that. And my folks were always. Handing things out to my other people because we want money. We got money. Made a lot. And you couldn't be a pig. I'm not doing people because, hey, that could be you too, you know? Rough. That was a rough time of my life. I remember that real bit when I was a kid. But anyway. I worked with my dad almost every weekend. I worked with my dad. And my church, wherever I went, then I had to do, do stuff for my church, you know, or for school. I didn't have time for that crap. I worked with my dad. And you get out of those. People, they didn't realize that, hey, you're not doing any of your stuff. I said, that's tough. My dad's would do that. Yeah. But I learned a lot. Boy, did I learn a lot. And, uh, and I was sharp, too. And I was tough. But I was a little punk. <laughs> <laughs> I really didn't grow up till I was about, uh, about seventh, uh, Seven, yeah, and uh, 
and uh, that's when I started getting big enough to take care of myself. Before that, I just, everyone beat the crap out of me. <laughs> and they did like do it, come around and kick the crap out of the smart kid. Bang! <laughs> what? I didn't have any. I got to be that way by 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 coming about five eight, and boy, I was tough. And boy, I got up there that big, and. Did with everything you can imagine, we did for making our money, you know, all day long, all day long, about 10 o'clock in the morning, and to the end of the day, you got five bucks, five quarters, five quarters, that was yours. I need to go my Said, my dad used to say, I think you use more <laughs> all on, on everything. <laughs> yeah. But it didn't hurt me, really. And I don't get like the church I went with. And, my, and then uh, a little later, we got away from that Christ from church and Went to regular Bible people, you know, because they, I realized the the uh, people from the, the, uh, the oh anyway they're Catholic. Catholic. They're not. They're not. They're not right. They're not right. They can't bear like no 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 kids. They, they couldn't have. Kids and all that, you know. That's not right. Anyway, but I became a, a, a regular uh, Christian. But I, regular Christian, that's not kind of funny. A regular Christian and happy. And I was not a good boy all the time, you know that. <laughs> Can you believe that? <laughs> Right, yeah. But anyway, by uh, and when I was uh, sixteen years old, uh, not sixteen. You know, when I was sixteen year old, <laughs> difference. Yes, yeah. sixteen years old. I started to work at the bellhop in Chicago, and my my one of my my people from my from our, you know, my uncle. I got an uncle to me for an uncle. My uncle fixed me up to become as a bellhop in Chicago. In Chicago, you ever hear the Hogan Hotel in Chicago? It's not there anymore, but it's one of the biggest deals in, in uh, New York, in uh, Chicago. And we had about 80 bellhops. And you work with Betty Air and you're picking up people with baggage all the time. Baggage all the time. They didn't have these covers and all that. And, but, uh, I made I five from five in the morning to ten at night. I had to work at the bellhop. And I made nine hundred bucks a week. Nine hundred dollars? Nine three hundred bucks a week. Usually, you know, it, it changes, you know. But I can make about fifty bucks a week. Fifty bucks a week? Yeah. yeah. This everyone wanted to be wanted to be a bellhop. We made it. And boy did you work. From five to two you were working. 
and I'm working full time in my at church, or not in my church, but the, yeah. In uh, at the time I was a young guy, about uh, uh, for, first end of end of the first. First war, uh, my first war. First World War? No, World War. World War Two. Yeah, World War Two. Yeah, World War Two. I we were not in the in the uh, doing anything because the only thing is the uh, um, the. People in uh, in the in Fuhrer were fighting with each other, but they weren't doing much fighting. <laughs> and uh, and uh, nothing really happened till the uh, that's bad day, bad day. No, you're doing fine with the. Uh, Chaps, chaps, started something on us, yeah, and then we started to do something against them, yeah. yeah. But the uh, before the the, the four with the Jap Japanese and all that, there was nothing, nothing for the people here. Because of uh, the success, success they had, which was very bad, and the only thing we started to have some success out of that because of the Second War, and we started to get stuff from the people uh, in, in commerce to get the people from the First War. Yeah, you know what I mean. Anyway, the uh, so things start doing for the first time in our in my lifetime really was when we started uh, doing people to help against the first war, not the second war, but because there's nothing doing between the the. the And uh, the big deal was uh, the Japanese were doing everything they wanted to because we'd had nothing to stop them from doing anything. The only thing we had was in the Philippines, and that was it. And it was a small amount of people that were fighting uh, the people from the Philippines. And that was it. And uh, all these other deals that we were involved with was with these other things like the uh, people in uh, the yeah Guam. It was yeah, a lo whatever, another local they, island. They, they would try to do what they could to fight against the, the Japs, but there was you no, know, no, nothing. I mean, they were small people to, to do that. Anyway, uh, we had, sure didn't take much to beat the hell out of us, you know? and uh, oh boy. At that time, they also desired that they're going to have the deal at the stay in in the, in the uh, Europe. Europe, they were going to do the big fighter against them. Uh, we'll wait about doing against the Japs later. And unfortunately, the uh, the Philippine uh, and. Uh, Australia? 
you know, yeah, every, every up there was doing all they could to fight against the Japs. And that was very difficult. They didn't have enough to do it. But they, in spite of what they had, they do more than you thought they would be able to do. Which is really something. Uh, and of course, most of our deal was going to Europe. Nearly everything went to Europe. Like me, I should have been going to Europe. <laughs> but I was sent over to the South Pacific. And when I was sent there in September, September, at the end of the year, and when I got over there, we had a lot of stuff doing, but we just not doing much. <laughs> and when I started there, we were doing everything for everyone else. I was still uh, doing uh, as a uh, fighter pilot. I was trying to go uh, up there for the... Uh, <clears throat> Jack Jack War. Oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's super frustrating. Yeah, I can't think. Whatever. We, uh. I guess. There was. 50. I think it was 56 of us went to the South Pacific, and they thought, wow, wow, it's a whole new Air Force. Six guys, new Air Force, <laughs> can you imagine? And, uh, but we started doing everything <laughs> that we could possibly do to help the, help the war. And uh, all the stuff I was doing, it, crazy things, but uh, I was able to go to, uh, as a group, as my own fighter group, I didn't go there to the uh, end of the, uh, in the Philippines uh, about the uh, July, not July, about the December, about December. That was when I started going in the, as, as a huh. fighter pilot. Yeah, yeah. But uh, you can't believe uh, in the what we were doing to make us try us to do things. But we were able to get something in, in what would really uh, helped us so good was MacArthur and the general, the general, probably the best guy in the war. Uh, he uh, was from the uh, yeah. It wasn't General MacArthur? It was another general? Not MacArthur? Oh, yeah, but it was the Air Force General. Oh, it was the Air Force General? Yeah. From MacArthur, yeah. They were doing all the stuff and <laughs> screwing everything up. And, yeah, they were real great. They knew how to... Now, this guy... Uh, He's the guy that makes up the ones that for drop the little uh, bombs, short bombs, by 100 feet. He came up with that. Wow. And uh, these uh, other type of bombs he brought up with. It's his own way of doing it. Yeah. It's, and he was very... Ex yeah, able. 
to do anything. Very good. Uh, we were killing Japs like mad. You can't believe how much we killed. Boom. <laughs> we had those P-47 Thunderbolts, you know. It was, it's, we have those uh, six, six airplanes. Eighth eight caliber, eight caliber. Wang, you know. You're like, <laughs> Yeah, we go there and boom, and it knock the cow over, boom, back up, boom, all over the place. Kill them all over the place. Yeah. Terrible. But they asked for it. They were terrible people, the Japs. They would just pick up kids and regular people and shoot them down. No reason. Shoot him now. Yeah. No question about that. Yeah. yeah. It's sad. Yeah, very sad. War changes a lot of people. Yeah, everything. But we were able to get there and get it done. The day before the, the uh, A-bomb, I was there with uh, 15 other guys, 16 of us, and I'm number six, okay. So that's before the A-bomb, and there was nothing happening in uh, the Philippines, uh, not the Philippines, but the, by the A-bomb, because nothing was happening. And we didn't know it, but they wouldn't let us do anything. And we didn't know why, except we knew they had the, same, the first bomb. We knew about that. And that's all we knew. Then the, the next day, I am home, and I get on the paper that, that they dropped an A-bomb, the second one in uh, Japan. Ooh, the next morning, the next morning, I took the whole group. I was the guy, he had 16 ships. We get up there, and it, this is only about 15, 16 hours after the, they dropped the bomb. Up in, in, uh, up in Japan. And when we got up there, we're looking around, we said, an A-bomb, gone, no, nothing. Can you believe that? We saw the day, day before, hey, we saw people all over the place. And now there was no one. Can you scare the hell out of that? Huh? We went down about 100 feet off the water, all over the place, and first we could see it was about 20 hours or something like that. And we had to leave to go do our stuff. And wow! <laughs> and we didn't know about an A-bomb. No one knew where they, what's an A-bomb? And you know, you can get hurt from A-bombs. And we didn't know that. And we're out screwing around with the A-bombs over my head. <laughs> all, all 16 of it. Because no one told us anything about A-bombs. Funny, huh? Crazy. But anyway, we finally got, yeah, got found about A-bombs. And that was about long, Many, many, a couple of weeks later, we know about a box and the war's over with. <laughs> Can you imagine? So it was, it was in your plane or is in your squadron? Well, I was in the squadron, but uh, we weren't doing anything. So is this? We get Kaiser dropping the A bomb. 
That's the only one that was doing it. But we were walking around looking at everything there to see what's going on. But we didn't know what was happening. So you, you were in the dark? Yeah. Yeah, really. We all were in the dark. No one knew what's going on. <laughs> Funny. Yeah. But anyway, I wondered what, what really should have happened to us, you know. <laughs> and you'd think to this day that we would have had some problems with that, but we never did. The A-box, that's something. Anyway. <laughs>